Hello, la de deo. Hello, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is La Day, and on today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'll be showing you how I make Oha soup, or some people call it Ora soup. It's an Igbo Nigerian soup, and I'll be showing you just how easy it is to make. This Yoruba girl makes Oha soup. Um, I want to say a quick thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday. Yesterday was my birthday, so thanks, guys. So the ingredients we're going to be needing, number one is oha leaves or ora leaves and then oziza leaves okay and then you're going to be needing some beef meat, um, pomo, smoked fish and also some stock fish. You can use whatever protein you have available, chicken and all of that but I think meat brings out the best flavor in this soup. So this is okoroko stock fish. And then for seasoning, I'm going to be using some salt, some ogiri. Ogiri is that thing in the middle, it's really smelly. Okay, it's like dawa dawa or iru, but the Igbo type. Okay, and then crayfish. I use way more crayfish than you are seeing in that plate. And then some seasoning cube. Actually, it's crayfish seasoning cube. It's preferable for this dish. Some palm oil. Then I used some scotch bonnet, atarodo. You can use the yellow one, but I used the red one because that's what I had available. Some onions and then some coco yam, baby coco yam. Um, so to get started, we're going to just put the meat on fire in a pot. And then I put the salt and the um, crayfish seasoning. So the seasoning I'm putting is crayfish seasoning. And then I put some chopped onions in there. This is like one large onion, but it's medium too. And I just covered it to steam and while I this the meat was steaming away I just um, came to prep the oha leaves or ora leaves and prepping is pretty easy you just want to take out the stem and then the middle vein of the leaf so that it's not there and it's a little chewy though if you leave it there not like there's anything bad but the texture won't just be seamless and for these leaves we actually use our hands to chop them off because we want them rough like so don't need them to be finely chopped like the uziza so this is the meat so far and next thing i'm going to be doing is adding the washed and cleaned stockfish pomo dried fish um, smoked fish and then some of the pepper and also some water and see my pot is already full so I made this mistake when I was making insala. I'm not going to make it again. I just put in the ogiri. So what I did was to change the pot really because this pot would have been too small. So what I added in now was the palm oil and you just want to allow it to boil until the palm oil no longer shows in the soup. You're going to see that very soon. So I was just tasting now for seasoning. I'm going to cover it to boil. I was boiling the coco yam on the side and when they're really soft take out the back and you put it in a blender you can pound but this is way easier than pounding and then you just put enough water and then you blend until it's nice and smooth and silky yeah that's the word and so now I've put it in a different pot as you can see it's a bigger pot because I wanted to have enough space and see you don't see the palm oil like you were seeing it before because now it has cooked well what i'm going to do now is add the cocoa mixture and see how velvety it looks it's just beautiful and this is really what makes oha oha and the leaves okay and at this point i was already getting excited so you just cover it up so that everything can dissolve nicely it's still dissolving as you can see and i had um what i did was just rinse I rinsed the blender with some water and I had um, the powdered form of cocoa yam on standby. It's not a chill, it's real cocoa yam. Just in case this would not thicken the soup up as much as I, you know, want it to be. But it ended up being just fine. So stir carefully and just cover it up. You just need it to boil and just do its thing. So that's what it did. Um, after a few minutes, then you just check on it and by that time each thing i did was to add some crayfish or crayfish <laughs> um and just 
also give it a good stare see everything is looking good everything is releasing its own juice and accepting the juice there's how many going on in that pot you know what i mean if you haven't tried oha then see you're not a real nigerian until you try oha i put in the uziza leaves first because they're a little more tough than the um oha leaves and i just wanted to kind of cook a little bit before i put in the actual oha leaves once i put in the oha leaves i'm not there's no need for any more heat um, so that's why I put the uziza first, you know, so I put the oha leaves next and I turn off the heat Just mix it a little bit turn off the heat and our soup is ready guys hmm. When it gets a little cool it gets like the Consistency is less runny than you are seeing on the screen But this is one of my favorite favorite soups ever if you try it after watching this video please let me know send me a message send me an email comment on the video if you try this soup it is amazing and i feel like like i always say in my recipes that if nigerians could try each other's i mean there are like over 250 different tribes in nigeria and these tribes have you know specific cultures that are synonymous to them if we could try each other's food just to start with then there will be less enmity between all of us remember this oha delicacy being a staple in our household growing up i lived in the north for some time and we just ate food from the north from the south from the east from the west and there was no discrimination so i like i like that i'm kind of incorporating that in my household now that i'm married this is all i have on today's video until next time guys be the best version of you bye